Uh, we're standing here in front of United Reporting, tracking the giant hit single from the Dead Ships. Really happy to have Wesley Seidman, an accomplished gentleman of United Recording. When we knew we wanted to do something with them, and when this opportunity came up, we were like, that's the band we should try and contact. spoke with the band, we gelled, figured out what song we wanted to do, and the giant stood out. You could really understand the meaning of the lyrics. It had a lot of emotion. It was very powerful, and it was something that I think you could push the envelope with them sonically a little bit more than some of their other songs. We wanted to make sure that spoke as well as the lyrics or the music that they play. One of the things we wanted to make sure to achieve was to enhance their sound a little bit. Um, we had great drum tech, Mike Bassano, and we wanted to really kind of capture the drum sound that we designed in pre-production. Doing kick snare. Mm -hmm. Like, that feels a lot better to me. We spent a lot of time with different drums and tunings and really just trying to get where we had the song where we're happy with it. Use the Drumbrella, which everyone loves. Room mics, we used some new Sonkin mics that were really great. It kind of makes you want to march, dance, and really utilize the room here because it's a fantastic room. Just hearing the drum sound in that room, and it sounds like you are the greatest drummer of all time. I think it helps to make the drums feel the way they do. A lot of great amps that we got to play with, pedals, guitars. Gibson was kind enough to give us a bunch of great guitars since the band plays SGs. Really use the instrument to color the part more than EQ or compression. We also utilize the room with Chad on his guitars. Really kind of using room mics and ambience to achieve a different feel of certain parts. Just having a second guitar there takes the song just an idea of what it's going to sound like to like it already sounds like a song. With some of Devlin's parts you know, we got a little more creative with different distortion, different EQ curves to really add feel to the song. For the vocals, it's always surprising the mics you end up on. It was a little bit of a challenge because obviously on the choruses, he was kind of an animal. He let loose and really got fantastic performances. Now glamour in this second win, you adjusted to the loop. It's one of the few records that I've done where we didn't have to tune any vocals. Those are his performances. You know, they're here at United. The goal is to take a great song, great space, and utilize all the tools we have access to. You get a little more of the creative process coming across of the band. It's been nice having a different flavor. That is something that is not easily duplicatable at another studio. I'm really happy that they were the first band we chose to do this because they couldn't ask for a better band to do it with. They're a band of characters for sure. They all are very in touch with what they're playing with each other and how they interface. I think that comes across in their music and when they perform. Definitely one of the things that we were looking for is not just a band that people like, but a band and that is doing their craft because it's who they are, not because who they think they need to be.